This is actually the only F4U 1D Corsair flying in the world. Swing that leg up onto there. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Paul Banner and he's going to be debuting this amazing Corsair aircraft. So Paul, tell us what model is this and what makes this so special to you? This is actually the only F4U 1D Corsair flying in the world. It's a to, to our knowledge, it's the only remaining flying aircraft from the Battle of Okinawa, which was the battle after Pearl Harbor. And it's a really iconic, cool machine. So I also noticed there's a curved wing design and the wings fold up. Why is that? It's to make the undercarriage legs shorter so it lifts the fuselage up so that you have enough prop clearance. Yeah. That's one of the main reasons for the gull wing. It's an extremely complicated piece of the aeroplane to make. Uh, and the reason for, reason for having the folding wings is so they could fit them on aircraft carriers, put them below deck and fit more above deck. Big engine and huge prop. What is actually powering this? It's an R2800 Pratt & Whitney, 18 oh. cylinder, um, supercharged, really large propeller. Pulls it really nicely, you know, two and a half thousand horsepower. Probably one of the better engines, most popular engines, I guess. You know, like Corsair Bearcat. Um, yeah, very cool. You own a lot of different aircraft and you fly a lot of different aircraft. Where does this one rate out of all of them? Why do you want to fly this one? Yeah, I'm lucky to, I've had the opportunity to fly a lot of really cool aeroplanes and, and obviously own some of them as well. Yeah. Um, this one is, it's just a really nice aeroplane to fly. It rates pretty high to be honest. I mean, they're all really cool and it's just a great privilege to be able to fly them. Nice to take off and land. Control harmony is really nice. It's got plenty of power, nice to aero all around great machine. Would you like to check it out a little closer and have a sit in it? Yeah, sure. All right, come on down. So climb up on here, put, put your foot up on the wheel. Yeah. Keep going up. Uh, now get yourself up on the wing. It's a bit awkward with the with the wings folded. Yeah. That's it. Right, and then get, move yourself back and then stand up on the on the grip there. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, and now swing your, bring one of your feet over to there. So bring, yeah, that one. Yep. All right, now there's a handle up there. Yeah. You put your other hand in it, put your right hand in it. It's yep. going to be a bit hot. Yep. Swing that leg up onto there. This is one of the things where the early Corsairs are a bit more difficult than the late Corsairs. Harder to get into. Can I step on the chair? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then let yourself down. There you go, now you're a Corsair pilot. <laughs> what? There's a bit of room down below your legs. There's heaps in there. Yeah. And the cockpit is completely original except for the radio. So how does this thing actually glide if the engine fails? <laughs> well, I haven't found out yet and I don't <laughs> want to find out, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be okay. It's like all of them, they, they glide like a brick, it stalls beautifully, so it'll be no problem. So there's a lot of aircraft here. What's the actual visibility like when you're actually flying up here? Yeah, it's pretty good once you're up and going. As you can see on the ground, you can't see anything over the nose. It'd be oh. easy to swallow up a Cessna or something, taxi. <laughs> yeah. But in the air, it's pretty good. Yeah. So for anyone who's coming down to the air show, what are they going to see you do this weekend? Well, in this aeroplane, you'll see pretty cool. I mean, this will be its debut, so, but I've done plenty of practice in aeroplane and a fair bit. So you'll see a pretty cool aerobatics display down to low level. Loops, half cubans, barrel rolls, four point rolls. It's got a unique sound. It's got a whistle, just a cool thing. And, you know, to see it for the first time, I think, I think it'll be worth it. We look forward to seeing you fly this weekend. Thanks, Paul. No worries.